Okay. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Ladies, I am so excited to bring to you the Metabolic Health Masterclass. So this one is um, going to be a lot. It's We're going to cover quite a bit. And my purpose here today or my goal here for today is to really help you to understand what metabolic health is. Well, kind of just tipping the surface of it because you'll see that it actually is so integrated with a whole lot of body systems and functions. But I truly believe that understanding a little bit more about this and on the nutrition side of it is going to really help you stay focused and more on track and understand the why you're doing certain things and also to help you feel more in control and more empowered about the choices that you make so that you can actively discern whether this is something when you're being offered or presented with things in front of you that you can actually say or and confidently go okay well how is this going to affect me what is this doing or where can I find more information to learn about this um, and things like that so knowledge is power I believe actually that knowledge is potential power what we do with that knowledge is power okay so welcome to the meta health masterclass on metabolic health and of course what has prompted this is the new absolutely amazing launch of the MetaPower products within doTERRA. So I am going to talk about how those integrate um, into metabolic health. Even if you choose not to use these products, understanding the metabolic health components in this workshop is still going to be so valuable for you. Um, and so I'm skipping ahead. Who am I? Quick little brief because I know um, most of you, some of you don't, but most of you know um, who I am. But my name is Ash. I am a mom and I am a wife. I have three young boys, um, super crazy busy, um, multiple business owners. So we own a health and fitness studio called Evo Prime in the Wet Sundays. And also I run doTERRA as a business as well, um, which is they are very closely woven and integrated together um, because the values are so aligned. And when you see, I have put there a little bit of um, kind of a little brief around like what we do at Evo Prime Health and Fitness. So when this product was launched and is the nutritional version of what we do in movement in our studio, that's why it's so exciting for me specifically and why I'm so excited to teach on it. Um, I am a health and nature lover, absolutely. Um, all things come back to um, nature and love when it comes to healing. I'm a forever learner and educator. I love learning and therefore I love educating as well. This doesn't always go hand in hand, but um, I love being able to share and I've always, I guess, had a little knack for, and this is in my um, human design as well, for um, being able to take complex subjects and break them down into actionable, um, actionable ways of using them. Um, for my human design lovers, I'm also a manifesting generator, uh, which would explain the all the doing all the things and loving all the things and being able to do quite a lot in a short amount of time. So if you um, have no idea what human design is, that will sound crazy to you, but I encourage you to go look it up and it is very validating, um, very validating. Now, um, and that's kind of like science and astrology mixed together. Um, so when I heard um, about the release of this new MetaPower system, which is a cellular metabolic health system um, by doTERRA and listen to the research and the doctors and the guys really talk about this. Um, it was phenomenal. And I actually was first exposed to this when they launched it in the US um, at, towards the end of last year. And I loved it, but the exchange rate was absolutely killing us. Um, and then when I came back from convention, just over a week ago where we listened to Dr. Brannick Riggs talk um, about the science and the formulation of it. And then also some of you may know Dr. Libby Weaver's work. Um, I actually have some of her books. 
huge girl crush um, and she was one of the guest speakers as well and really dove into the cellular molecular levels of digestive system and all the kind of intricate things that were happening there but she explained it in such an amazing way that everyone could understand and I loved that. Um, so that really then escalated my excitement about this. And of course, I've been using it and I am feeling absolutely amazing doing that. Um, so I will we'll dive into a bit of both on here. Um, so when this is combined with the lifelong vitality supplements um, that doTERRA have created, this is targeting multiple systems in the body and adaptations. So if you follow my health and fitness studio um, or know anything about what we do, we're all about targeting multiple body systems and creating longevity, vitality, um, and aging really well through movement. So we, um, in our studio, we target the nervous system, fascia, bones, joints, muscles, everything, the whole body as a whole um, when it comes to exercising. So now with this launch of a metabolic system that targets multiple nutritional delivery and absorption, um, it's definitely going to grab my attention. So um, the, if you think of the difference between the lifelong vitality and metapower for those that are already using it, the lifelong vitality supplements are vitamin and mineral nutritional supplements. The metapower is the delivery system and the absorption of those, those nutrients, but also of the food nutrients in our system. So it's supporting our body systems in um, how they actually work. And I'm going to dive into that in a moment. Whereas the lifelong vitality supplements are the nutritional supplements um, that we can't quite get from our food anymore. Okay, so a little overview of what we're going to cover today is nutrition depletion. Um, and one of the key things here, like, did you know, this absolutely blew my mind when we listening to these statistics, is that did you know that only 5% of Australians actually get the recommended daily intake of fruit and veg? That daily recommendation is barely enough to sustain us anyway. That's not optimal health. If you think that five fruit and veg um, recommendation is baseline, like that's not even optimal. And only 5% of Australians are reaching that. Like that's mind blowing. We're going to talk health span versus life span. So we are living longer, but our health is declining faster. So we're actually just dragging out those last few years of our life. Personally, I will be living my absolute fullest. I want to still be doing the things I love, going for a bushwalk, spending time with my kids, my grandkids, and then just passing away in my sleep. Like that, that to me is I've lived my ultimate healthy lifestyle and that is where health span and lifespan meet. So we are going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about metabolic health. So metabolic health is your body's ability to respond to the foods that you're consuming. We're going to do a little bit of a dive into that. And then metapower and lifelong vitality supplements. So the metabolic health and metapower, we'll kind of dive into each of those because they really do flow on um, as we're going along. And metapower is the cellular level metabolic support system to absorb the nutrients in our body. All right. So let's keep going. You still with me? We're there? Yeah. Cool. Any questions along the way, please drop them into the chat box. I will try and answer them along the way. If I miss any questions, um, I can come back and answer them um, when I, as I come double back and come back to those. Okay, so let's talk nutrition. And there's some pretty, some seriously alarming statistics when it comes to nutrition. And when I was listening to these over um, the last week or so, and when I was really diving into all of these um, elements and creating this um, masterclass, it's absolutely astounding. Like, I know it's bad. I know it's bad. I look around me and I can see that it's bad. And the people that I help, I can see. These are people that want to be helped. So like you guys who are looking for better ways. And then there's such a vast majority who are oblivious to this and it astounds me but so this was the US statistic I couldn't find the Australian one but based on Australian US statistics we've caught up in the last five to ten years we have caught up tenfold to the American statistics which used to be so far-fetched to us um, just 10 years ago 
with obesity rates and things like that, but we have caught up to them and it, it is astounding. So based on the US statistic, 678,000 deaths per year in the US could be completely avoided with nutrition and lifestyle. 678,000 deaths. That's one death every 12 minutes that could be completely avoided with good quality nutrition and lifestyle choices. Like, that's astounding. So in the study that um, I mentioned just before, so the 2015 study of 20,000 households showed that 49% of Australians met the guidelines for fruit, right? Only 7% met the guidelines for vegetables. And that meant only 5% of the whole population was actually meeting the recommendations for fruit and veg. So in an attempt to consume enough nutrients, which I'm going to talk about the soil depletion um, in a moment, but in an attempt to consume enough nutrients, we can also then be faced with over-consuming calories. So this is why the nutrient density of the foods that we consume is so important. And I, I'm going to touch a little bit um, just briefly on that as we go along. But when we consume certain foods, they can inhibit or they can contain enzymes that inhibit the absorption of the nutrients. So spinach is one of those. So even though it contains this much vitamins and minerals, because of, and nuts are another big one, because of the enzymes that they also contain that bind to those nutrients, we don't actually absorb all of the nutrients. So we can say there's this much, you know, vitamins, minerals, whatever in spinach, but we're not absorbing all of those. Okay. So when we start to look at um, the absorption of nutrients that we're consuming, this is critical. Otherwise we have to consume more calories just to get those nutrients. Does that make sense? Still with me? Um, then we can look at the depletion. So this is another contributing factor to that. So, you know, a lot of these um, fruits and vegetables and foods that we consume, the general, you know, spinach contains this much of um, this mineral and this vitamin and this. Once those are done, they're generally not reviewed very often. So whilst the spinach from 20 years ago may have contained that much nutrients, now because of soil depletion and a range of other things, agricultural um, society, the actual nutrients that are in that has decreased and significantly decreased. Um, I've got the statistics here, the nutri nutrient and phytonutrient content of the soil which therefore the plants, because if the nutrient isn't nutrients aren't in the soil, it can't be in the plants as well. We need the nutrients in the soil to be absorbed by the plants, which then we absorb from consuming the plants. Changed dramatically when we became an agricultural society around the 1950s. Okay, so considerable depletion of nutrients ranging from six to thirty-eight percent in veg in less than fifty years. So in the last 50 years, the nutrient density of our fruits and vegetables is about is can be up to 38%. Now, combined with the recent years of fast food, processed foods, crazy lifestyles, stress, all of these kinds of things, my personal guess is that a majority of that decline would be happening in the last 10 years. So we might say that over the last 50 years, it's decreased by 38%. But I would be saying majority of that has actually happened in the last 10 years. And in the next 10 years to come, we can see that continuing. So thanks to quite a, a rise in and the attempt at regenerative farming, um, this is something you want to keep an eye on. So if you're looking for nutrient density in the foods that you're consuming, you want to be paying attention to regenerative farming and things like that. So this is where we've got, you know, um, cattle on farms and they're being rotated through different um, paddocks and crops. So the nutrient density in those soils are going to be able to replenish 
as they're moving around and um, obviously um, with fertilizing and things like that. So you're going to be moving around and you're creating this um, biodiverse environment for both the crop and then also for the animal and for the, that's in the um, instance of consuming meat, for example. Um, and then the same kind of thing with um, fruits and vegetables where you're planting different vegetables in the same place that you had something else because they're going to bring different nutrients to the soil they're going to drag different nutrients from the soil so that it can replenish when you're planting something else does that make sense awesome okay so when we look at nutrient deficiency we know that nutrients vitamins minerals are required for most body functions pretty much all and on the flip side, without those nutrients, so we know that we need to consume them. So we know that we need to consume them to be um, for all of our body systems to work smoothly, to be absorbing things, for everything to work really well. And I'm not just saying baseline, I'm talking optimal. Okay, so I'm throughout this, I'm not talking like baseline survival. I'm talking like wake up feeling great, wake up feeling energized, having time and space and um, brain space and mental capacity to do the things that you want to do and to enjoy doing those things. Okay, so not just baseline. So when we um, look at having enough nutrients, vitamins, minerals for all of these body functions, for the absorption, for, for um, you know, brain clarity, for hormones, for all of these things, without those, we're looking at severe chronic illness generational deformities and death. We've just seen the statistics on that. And when we talk generational deformities, disabilities, things like that, in only two generations, so our grandparents would get the amount of vitamin A from one orange that we now would need to consume eight oranges to get. And very soon, vitamin A will actually be bred out of oranges completely. Okay, so that's with only two generations. Now, when with nutrient um, depletion comes generational deformities, and these start to happen um, quite quickly. So if you if you remember or know someone, if you think back to school and think of that kid at school that just seemed to be really switched on, really smart, they were really good at sports pretty good looking that's not by accident it is from good genes and good dna okay but not just from their parents not by accident it's from generational generations of consuming good quality nutrients living off the farm and things like that okay um chewing food so chewing food for jaw structure and all of these kinds of things there's so many elements that play into that but this is this declines very quickly um, as we go down in generations. And so we also, it's not just that we're healing ourselves from nutritional deficiencies, but we're creating this massive cascade effect on establishing these habits if you've already had children, establishing these habits within your children so that they're changing, they're breaking this cycle generationally as well. So if you, if that kind of, if diving into that world of nutrition over generations and actually how that all comes about, there's a really great book called, um, it slipped my mind, it's Catherine, someone, I think it's Traditional Nutritions, Nutrition, Traditional Nutrition. Let me look that up. If that interests you, I will look that up because it's a really, really great book. Um, okay, so we're breeding out nutrients for the sake of size because a bigger orange is going to get more money for the farmers. It's going to get more money for when you're paying per kilo at the supermarket. So basically for money and because of our taste buds. So now, thank you to processed foods and um, artificial, so much artificial foods that are now on our shelves and fast foods and things like this. This, um, we, we, people are, consumers are desiring sweeter food. So they're desiring a sweeter orange. Um, so bigger and sweeter. So based on taste 
and money, we are literally sacrificing nutrients. So we are breeding out the nutrient density of foods for the sake of size and taste. I know, absolutely. I totally agree. So my comments, like I hate that they do this and it kills me. And it, it does for me too. I really, truly struggle with this. And this is where like really, really holding, like not holding on to it so much that it stresses you out, but holding on to those values. Yeah. And holding on to those values and knowing that we can do better and that we can choose better. And by educating our kids to make choices that, you know, don't go for the biggest, sweetest orange. Like we, we choose or we are making a choice for or against this based on our purchasing habits. So how we spend our money matters because we're the consumers. So if we are consistently going towards the um, foods that aren't perfectly shaped carrots and we're opting for wherever possible, we're opting for the foods that, um, so it might not always be possible to be organic, but if we can opt for and vote with, you are voting with your money, based on brands and family farms and things like that, when you actually dive in and look, so eggs are another really good example. So when I go to buy eggs, if I'm buying eggs off the shelf, so ideally we have a resident goanna, so we're not, we don't have our own eggs at the moment, but I need to relocate this goanna on. Um, but basically if you have, have um, going to purchase eggs in a supermarket, you can see, what brands, what the brand value is just by looking at that. Okay. So if you're looking at, I shouldn't name names, but like Sunny Queen or something is just one that pops in my head. So you can see that one brand and as an option, they have, I'm looking here like as if I'm looking at the eggs. Um, you can see that they have caged eggs, cage free, free range and organic. That business's values that you're purchasing from are not in true alignment with organic free range eggs. Their values are not lying with the quality of food that they're producing because they have the option of caged eggs. They have the option of cage free eggs so that you can tell very quickly the values of a business when you look at that. Exactly. It's all about having a different price point for different people. So they're trying to target everyone. So if you're putting, choosing a egg option that is a, there's one called, it starts with M, Meggles maybe, mm -mm, there's a couple. So you're, if you're going to look at that, you're looking at choosing the eggs whose company only has free range eggs or only has organic free range eggs. And most of the time, as just a quick reference, there's a whole like more intricate guide you go into and looking up and things like that. But if you have a look on the back of the package of most products, you can see a family because they're so proud of what they're creating. And you can see that family or that story or those, you know, those friends or whoever is behind that business. You can see them. You can see their story because they are proud of what they're creating. So this doesn't mean that it's always good for you, but it means it is a good way of looking at and aligning with where you spend and how you spend your money. Okay. Hope this is helpful. It is something that I could go on for ages with as well because it does drive me nuts. Okay, so let's move on. <laughs> the minerals that minerals, minerals, are actually, sorry, minerals are actually challenging for us to digest and absorb because they're quite large molecules. So what, so when we actually consume vitamins and minerals, they're actually a little bit more challenging for our body to, cons to actually absorb than we think. Hence, and because they can be easily disrupted in the process based on different enzymes and molecules that attach to them, that bind to them within the body, and then we'll carry them through instead of getting absorbed or vice versa, then there are so many, because there are so many intricate um, 
I guess, systems or processes that are happening within our body systems that we want to do everything we can in a really simple way that is going to enhance the absorption of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. Okay. All right. So as a quick overview, basically our nutrients, nutrition is obviously critical for us in every way. It's going to provide energy, um, contribute to body structures and the development of body structures, regulate chemical processes in the body, um, upregulate or downregulate in some instances. All right. I need to do a quick. I just realized I... Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. So I'm good with nutrition. Let's move on. I spent a little bit more time there than I had anticipated. Um, okay, so let's go lifespan versus health span. Okay, so we are looking here at this is actually the doTERRA wellness pyramid that we're looking at here on the left hand side. And it is perfectly curated. So I have no reason to change any of that. Um, exercise is like right there at the second largest. So obviously this just aligns perfectly with my personal values, but obviously the science research behind it as well. So, okay, this is a statistic that truly blew my mind, truly blew my mind the other day, um, is that only 33% of Australian, Australian adults are in a healthy weight range. Okay, so this is a whole bunch of contributing factors. 77% of Australian adults aren't in a healthy weight range. So what is health span versus lifespan? Okay. So when we look at, I'll start with the wellness chart first and we'll work our way through each of them. Okay. So how best, when we look at this wellness um, chart, this is basically about how best we can take care of ourselves and supporting holistic behavioral change for outcomes. So we, the outcome is longevity, vitality, live, living healthy. Okay. Living healthier for longer. Right. So when you pull any one of these levers in, we're talking the bottom four for a start. Okay. So when we're talking these bottom four components in um, lifestyle, if you start tapping into any one of those or making changes at any part, you are influencing the outcome. So for better or for worse, but we're, we're looking positive today. So you, as you pull any of these levers or make changes, better changes in any of these areas, you're still, you're taking a step towards a better outcome. So we don't have to try to do everything all at once. And it is so freaking overwhelming. Okay. So, and I get a lot of people that do reach out or hesitate to reach out to me because they look at where I am. You cannot compare your year 10, my year 10, sorry, you cannot compare my year 10 years of this um, and probably longer because it's been a, like a very long, like a lifelong journey um, for me, but you cannot compare these last 10, my 10 years to your day one or day two, or even your day three or sorry, year three or year four. Okay. So completely eliminate that comparison to anyone because any area they might be doing better at or not as good at. Okay. So, and you don't know what's happening behind the scenes, unless you follow me on Instagram and you see my whole life in my stories, <laughs> but you are any changes that you make are creating a positive impact. So don't underestimate the little things that you do. Okay. Now, if we start at the bottom, nutrition and digestion. So vitamins and minerals, we know they're critical for metabolic health. Let's just keep weaving this back into metabolic health or I could go AWOL all day. Um, micronutrients are absolutely critical for metabolic health. The health of our microbiome in our gut, which has gut brain access, so everything that's happening in the brain, our moods, our emotions, our um, cognitive function, the clarity, how well we learn, all of these things significantly that are affected in the microbiome significantly impact our metabolic health as well. The whole body is integrated. We're a whole human. We're not one system. More muscle mass. So if we move up to exercise, more muscle mass changes our metabolic resting rate. Now our metabolic resting rate 
is our body's ability to burn calories as we're sitting down post-workout. So if you are have more muscle mass, that is going to continue to absorb and burn calories as it breaks down and as it repairs back up over um, the next 24, 48 hours. Okay, so the more muscle we gain, the better our body handles the calories that we consume. Now, this is in reason because when we go too far on that muscle mass scale, we start to decrease the size of our mitochondria. So mitochondria is the longevity cell inside our cells. So inside our cell, it's sorry, the longevity component, which is in the center of our cells or the cells in our body. So as we, if we increase muscle mass exponentially, so think like bodybuilders and things like that, you're actually decreasing the size of your mitochondria, your longevity, your, long, your vitality components um, of the body. Okay. I, I don't have bodybuilders following me, so it might not be relevant, but just so you know, there is a point where, uh, although for women that exercise too much, this is the major issue as well, because you are actually decreasing that longevity cell so we want to be moving in a way that is promoting health okay so if you're doing a workout and then you're absolutely exhausted and need a nap something's going on something's not quite right whether it's the style of workout you're doing or whether it's a body system that's not processing right so we want to we should be feeling invigorated and feeling amazing after a workout so choosing the type of workout that you do having variety in your workouts is so important Okay, again, back to metabolic health, <laughs> Ash. Okay, sleep. Sleep, if we take the next one out, if we're looking at rest and managing stress, sleep. So less than six hours of sleep. If you are continuously getting less than six hours of sleep, you will require 40% more insulin for your body to process glucose. Now, you're going to understand why that's so important in a few minutes. Skip ahead. So you will require 40% more insulin to process the glucose in your body because it's going to be sluggish. It's going to be slow. It's not going to be working optimally. Less than six hours per night consistently. Now, there is going to be phases. You've got young kids in life um, where we're not getting that six hours. So we need to, that could be a high focus for you, Irregardless of most other things. So that could be the lever that you need to pull on most in creating absolute quality in the sleep that you are getting. Okay. And this could be focusing on enhancing sleep for your little ones and reducing the stress around sleep as well. Okay. Um, then, so also, if we are getting less than six hours sleep a night, we are most likely to consume 300 more calories per day just to stay awake. So if you're also trying to work and get that things done on top of that, you're probably consuming more because we're going to get those blood sugar spikes where the blood sugar, where we're needing energy. So we consume extra calories, blood sugar spikes, and then it's going to drop. And because it drops drastically, you're needing to consume more again, to try and get those spikes. You're getting those big up and down spikes, which is seriously detrimental to longevity and health span. Okay, we're going to talk more about that in a second. Then we've got the next step up, which we're looking at reducing toxicity. So chemicals are known to con uh, contain known endocrine disruptors. Um, and these endocrine disruptors also alter fat production and energy levels in our body. Okay, so the whole low-tox lifestyle sounds really great, but there's really, really game-changing science behind it okay so and again it can seem overwhelming one thing at a time just replace one product as you run out of something choose a better option okay now these the when it comes to um chemicals um in our bodies so again they also can change appetite regulating hormones increase estrogens all of these kinds of things when we look at at back to that generational impact we're having, we look at our kids and we can see the impact that it's having on kids. So for myself who um, does, we have eliminated, eliminated most, you will never be non-toxic completely because there are toxins everywhere. But where we have changed what most things that we can change 
we can see a massive disruption and especially in our middle child who is most um like you can see it physically the most um we see it massively with him when um these kind of toxins are start to be start to circulate again so whether it's um you know staying at grandparents or like someone's washing his clothes or puts perfume on his sleepy teddy um things like that like there is a massive cascade that we can see physically in his behavior and it astounds me how many people struggle with kids behavior and don't look at this um because it is a massive contributing factor Okay, when we look at um, overall, 25% of deaths annually are due to heart disease, 75% of deaths, that's three out of four people are at risk of developing heart disease, 33% of adults are only 3% of adults are in the healthy weight range, and this is affecting children on an even higher rate. Children these days are 10, I know, right, 10% uh, sorry, are 10 times higher than the 1970s in obesity category. So the children of today are 10 times more obese than children of the 1970s. Now we know, like even just, you could, I'm sure that you could rattle off three, four, five, 10 things instantly of what you could put this down to. So massive lifestyle changes from back then, how kids spend their time massive changes the food the food quality the kinds of foods that we're eating the lifestyle the busyness the go 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 all of these things are contributing to that one in three children this one this one really got me one in three children born today will become diabetic diabetic due to lifestyle and nutrition one in three children that is mind-blowing so let's not be part of these statistics let's create momentum around stepping away from that because these are all things that we do have control over okay so we want to extend our health span so essentially we've extended our lifespan thanks to medicine um, and um, Western medicine and interventions and things like that, which I'm so grateful for as well. So don't be, don't be naive in thinking it's one or the other. The, the blend of these coming together is so powerful. And when you are empowered in natural solutions, you have that power to use those wherever possible. And then you can be more confident when you go and need Western medicine that you can say, yes, I need this. And that when you're in there, you can advocate for yourself. You can advocate for your kids because you know you're there for a reason. You're not there because you have no idea what's going on and you know there's a cascade shitstorm of whatever going on in all of your bodies. Okay, so this is, this is empowering, okay? This is empowering. Now, one out of one third of all of the healthcare dollars that you spend will be spent in the last six months to one year of your life. So depending on how slowly you're dying for, um, because essentially that's kind of what's happening is that we're dying for longer. We want to live for longer. So let's match our health span to our lifespan and how here are a few ways we can do this. Firstly, my vision of matching health span to lifespan is that I'm in my nineties, late nineties. I spend the day out with the kids grandkids we are down the beach rock climbing I'm able to get up and climb over rocks with them um we're chatting along the way they're telling me about their lives we are doing all of the things that we love doing maybe we have to hike to this beach not a big hike but yeah maybe we have to do a bushwalk to get to this beach spend the day we come back we have an amazing family lunch uh, we're eating all of this really delicious, nutritious foods. Um, I'm sitting down at the end of the day with my husband, talking about all the cool things we did. And then when I go to bed, I just don't wake up. Okay. And it's interesting because I said this um, 
to a couple of friends and actually to a client only like a month ago. So before um, the release of the Meta Power, actually, and it really kickstarted me looking into this. And I'd said to, he had mentioned about um, getting some friends together and having a retirement village. And I was saying, how cool would that actually be? Like you're in like this retirement village with all of your best friends that's got one of those like retreat ones. So it's got a pool and it's got like yoga classes and a, you know, pool, like pool tables and things like that. And so you're doing, you know, going out, spending the time with all your friends and you're just like, see you guys, I won't be here tomorrow. I'm just I'm going to bed. I'm done. Like that is where you have lived your best life. Like your health matches your lifespan. The number one, did you know, the number one contributing factor or one number one predicting factor to how long you will live is healthy connections. So healthy connections are the number one predictor of how long you will live. So go invest in your relationships, in your family, in your friends, invest your time. So this is according to the blue zone. So there are five main blue zones around the world where blue zone, blue zones are places in the world where people consistently live to a hundred years old, consistently live healthy um, into their hundreds. Okay, so um, we want to move every day. We want to eat healthily, micro macronutrients or the micronutrients that are supporting macronutrient consumption. Um, these are all things that we want to consider when we're looking at extending our health span. We want to look at stress management. We want to look at cortisol levels. Um, as cortisol levels increased, this is really at our adrenals release. Um, and then blood sugar goes up. We get these blood sugar spikes. And then this is creating a whole cascade of chronic health issues. Um, so we want to be able to manage stress. We want a smart supplement. So we know that we just cannot get enough of the nutrients that we're getting, but also there are a lot of inferior supplements on the market. If you get anything pretty much off the shelf at the supermarket, I can guarantee you're consuming inferior supplements. And we'll talk about a little bit about that in the moment, because again, we're coming back to that absorption of those and it's pretty minimal. Um, so these are the pillars that fit into creating and extending your health span versus your lifespan. And um, I love that doTERRA just have this perfect pyramid that um, links into that. So if we have a look over here too, that orange line is what we're looking at health span, extending the health span. So you're living more fulfilling for longer. The light gray is our current lifespan. And the dark gray is the um, is the lifespan that we've extended thanks to um, medical interventions. But you can see that the quality of life is quite low. All right, moving on. So next, metabolic health. This little map here, if you have a quick little look at this picture, this is a map of metabolic health. Okay, so what we touch on today is absolutely minuscule component, but has a big impact on the overflowing effects of metabolic health. Okay, but this here, just to give you a little idea, is a map, a mind map of metabolic health. Okay, so it is a very complicated system. Metabolic health is your body's ability to respond to the foods that you are consuming. Now, metabolic health is generally defined, if you were to go to the doctors and get blood tests, by five key markers, and these are blood sugar, triglycerides. So triglycerides are a type of fat lipid that are found in your body. So we're looking at the quality of that. High density lipoproteins, which is your HDL, so cholesterol. That's a whole other workshop because you want to be looking at LDL and HDL um, in comparison to each other is going to be more reflective of um, overall health. We're looking at blood pressure and waist circumference. That's your typical uh, mainstream, what they're going to look at as five contributing factors to metabolic health. So metabolic health is responsible for a whole range of health um, components, but we're going to break it down to breaking down um, into three main ones that I'm kind of going to touch on. So breaking down proteins into amino acids. So when this process doesn't happen properly, it leads to a cascade of toxic buildup, health and digestive issues, because it's not breaking down proteins into amino acids properly. Um, then we've got turning fat into fatty acids, which are then absorbed into the bloodstream. 
and contribute to mitochondrial health, anti-aging component of our cells. And then we've got turning carbohydrates into simple sugars, into glucose. And this is the one we're going to focus on the most. So which are then absorbed into the bloodstream and stored to use as a source of energy. Okay. And we're going to talk about these fat cells now. Yeah. So we're going to talk about adipogenesis. So adipogenesis is the growth of a fat cell from when it's young to the size as it ages. Okay. So as a little overview, we have got here on the screen, on that left-hand side, I think it should be on your left-hand side as well, um, we've got the little cells. So they're kind of little long cells, right? And then we have got um, the little components inside each of the cells. Okay, now as they age, so you can see as they're aging, this is over, say, a 14-day period. As they age, those little yellow dots in there are fat lipids, Okay. Mm. Now we are grown, we are born with the same amount of fat cells and they grow. So we, as we're born and we grow fat cells up until the age of 18. Now we all have about the same amount of fat cells. The actual cell number, how many of the fat cells we have in our body is the same. Okay. Now the size of this fat cell grows and shrinks based on lifestyle choices, okay? So these will grow. We, we have a choice. We get to decide how big or small, the size, what that our cells are going to be. Now, these are things that are determined by everyday lifestyle and nutritional choices, movement choices, all of that. Now, if we look at there on the left, we've got the small cell, and then over the course of 14 days of eating crappy foods and sedentary lifestyle, you can see the yellow dots on that third row are growing. So now we've got multiple yellow dots. Now the yellow dots are fat lipid. Sorry, are lipids. Okay. So the lipid inside, the fat lipid inside the fat cell is what's growing. Okay. Now this is that. If we go back just here down the bottom, the carbohydrates into simple sugars, into glucose, which are then absorbed into the bloodstream and sort, stored as a source of energy. So they're stored in the cells, potentially to potential energy to use. So if you're not using all of those energy, obviously that it keeps storing it, storing it, storing it, and the lipid inside the fat cell grows. So the difference between someone that is someone my height that is quite, um, you know, that is 20 kilos heavier than me, for example, is the size of their fat cells, okay, generally, um, within reason of muscle. But fat cells, we have the same amount of fat cells. The size of our fat cells is what's changing, and it's the lipid inside those cells that is growing, okay? All right, so... Over here, we can see day zero. So the red, the little red dots are the healthy components of our fat cell. Okay, so these are these little red dots here, which are the healthy components of our fat cell. All right. No, Nick, we can shrink the lipid. We can shrink the lipid. So here we can see day zero without MetaPower. So this is based on the MetaPower essential oil. So here, without the metapower essential oil, those little red dots, which are the healthy components, are pretty one faded in color and pretty scarce. So this is actual, these are actual um, photos from the lab that they did the testing of the metapower oil on. Um, day 14, so after consuming the metapower oil, this is the essential oil component only, we can see that it actively shrunk fat lipid. Okay, so we'll see how the metapower contributes just here. So this is the adipose, adipogenesis and metapower and how it contributed, how it actually shrunk the fat cells. So the formulation we can see here on the left there, the formulation of the metapower was originally smart and sassy. Okay, so smart and sassy is the dark orange there. And... This is the what happened to the fat cells. Um, what happened to the uh, sorry, the lipid inside the fat cells 
over um, 14 days. Oh no, sorry, it was over three months, I think it was, three, three to six months. Um, so we've got, due to lifestyle factors, the small fat cells then accumulate, lipid, the lipid gathers in the fat cell and that's how the fat cells grow. In the study that doTERRA used, that doTERRA um, done, increased the amount of meta power exposure to the fat cell over time. So over the couple of months, using it daily, so adding it to water every day, um, is how we would consume it. But this was obviously done on um, petri dishes. So the lipid inside the fat cells shrunk significantly. They also found that the development of the lipid, a significantly less development of the lipid inside the cell. Now I'm going to tell you how that happened in just a second, because that is with the combination of BSDs and how the conversion of carbohydrates to sugars and how that happened and slowed the absorption of the sugars. Okay, so we're looking at significantly less development of lipid inside those fat cells. And this study was conducted despite the look and feel of how we are, of how we are um, done using it, but the doTERRA actually all about science. So to scientifically determine what happens in the system, and this is what it showed. Now, the dark orange was the original Smart and Sassy. They reformulated the blend, and that's the purples. So they actually made it worse in one of the first experiments. And then they've come up with the meta power. So the meta power is this light orange. So this is the decrease of lipid inside the fat cells by consistently adding the meta power to water. Super cool. Super cool. Now, that is the meta power active blend. So that's the essential oil. Um, overall, this creates an uplifting, stimulating environment. It may have some metabolism effects. Diffuse or place drops in your hands, cut them over the nose and inhale. So this massively, I have found personal experience decreasing like sugar and coffee cravings massively. So I personally am someone. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the formulation, so some with ingesting essential oil. So the essential oil based on, um, so this particular blend is present in the capsules, in the collagen powder, all of that. So we can consume it that way. Now, when we talk about consuming essential oils, this is based on, um, so some people have, you'll see about ingesting essential oils shouldn't be done. Now, this is because the quality of essential oils is not regulated by the um, TGA, okay? So, well, wasn't. It's starting to be regulated, um, but basically you can choose not to TGA approve your essential oils, which we have a huge chunk of ours that are, um, and it's a big process and it's expensive, but the quality, um, basically quality, is what matters. So with the doTERRA essential oils, um, there's probably only three brands that I would consume. Um, and they, on the testing, overall testing by the third party. So if you look at um, source to you.com is a third party testing, testing lab that tests essential oils. And they, they have mentioned on there that only that 97% of essential oils are adulterated, which means they contain synthetics, alcohol and fillers, and they don't have to state that on the bottle. So that's the big issue is that it doesn't have to stay on the bottle. So if you went to the source to you.com website, um, you can look up even at the bottom on each of the doTERRA bottles. And if you can see, there's like a little code there. You can put that in the source to you website because every single badge is um, assessed by third party, by the um, source source to you. I can't remember what the, um, what the um, thing's called. Um, source to you is the like umbrella of who does it. Um, so when you go through that, and the big thing is that the quality of essential oils, and honestly, most are adulterated with, if you're consuming them to minimize your toxic load or to help eliminate certain elements in the body as a detox, as however you're using them, it's really critical that you're using 
high quality essential oils. Is that helpful? Um, yeah, basically quality. Um, yeah, cool. Um, awesome. And then we have got, so the Meta Power I've been using in my water bottle um, four drops um, throughout the day as many times as I read for my water bottle, I'll pop four drops in it. And this is a litre water bottle. Um, so I'll pop about four drops in that. And I, so I, coffee is my vice. Okay. So I could very easily consume, you know, three, four coffees in a day. I'm up at 4am. So if I have one then, that kind of kick starts. If I have one then, oh, Liz has dropped out. Um, if I have one then, then it can create a cascade of like then, you know, 10 o'clock when I finish coaching and throughout the day. So coffee intake can be my vice. I literally have like, can easily have one coffee a day and not even think about it. So the first couple of days I was like, it's like five o'clock and I haven't had a coffee in the afternoon. Um, and, or I've had a coffee in the morning with breakfast and then, um, or after breakfast. And then I'm like, oh, I get to four or five o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, I haven't even had an, like, I haven't even thought of having another coffee. So um, I think Liz is having trouble. She's jumped in and out a couple of times. Um, so massively for sugar cravings. I'm also like, if I am getting a takeaway coffee and there's all these delicious treats there, I have to willpower my way out of not buying them. So I'm not immune to this, everyone. I, I know the value of my health. So I will power myself out of that, but it's still challenging and I still have to be mindful of it. However, since I've been having this, I haven't, I don't have to willpower my way out of it. I just don't feel like having it, um, which is massive. I, I think this is huge. Like for me, obviously I, I, the values of that on me is so strong that I can be okay with that. But I know for a lot of people, this is a real, like it's a massive struggle. So I know if I'm struggling with it, like loads of other people would be. So that's been a big one for me is having that in my water. Um, and yet yeah, reducing hunger cravings, um, sugar cravings, coffee cravings. Yeah, put that in there. So that's the active blend. Now that active blend is what then is in the different delivery modalities, which is the capsules and the MetaPower um, collagen powder. All right. So we're going to talk Meta Assist now. Okay, so... You'll see the relevance of everything I've just talked about. So these are a little capsule. So you would take um, one, actually I'll talk about that in a sec, how to consume it. Um, so here, MetaPower Assist, which is the capsules. This is addressing the insulin and sugar levels. So addressing insulin and sugar levels are absolutely critical for closing that gap on health span and lifespan because chronically elevated blood glucose causes cardiovascular damage, nerve damage, kidney damage, eye damage, loss of hearing, neurodegenerative disease, and mood disorders over time. Now, those chronically elevated blood glucose um, levels as the blood sugar spikes that happen every time you consume specifically sugars or carbohydrates. So every time you consume those, you're getting a blood sugar spike. So you can imagine that that's happening multiple times throughout the day which when chronically elevated can cause all of these things, hence the decline in health very quickly. Now, and the issue with this too is that you're not seeing the damage to metabolic health straight away. You're not seeing it next week. We're seeing it in years to come, which then affect us like hit us like a train. And all of a sudden you have massive amounts of metabolic chronic illness. So one of the ingredients in, I'm going to talk about in this one. So it's got four main ingredients um, there that you can see. And we've got the cinnamon bark powder, um, berberine, the metabolic blend, which is the um, oil blend and mulberry leaf. Okay, so I'm going to talk mulberry leaf. So one of the ingredients, DMJ mulberry leaf, it looks like the molecule glucose in our carbs, okay? So we spoke about before, so you can see the glucose molecule here, and then this is DMJ burp, um, mulberry leaf, okay? So this one here. So you can see the actual structure of that is very similar, okay, to glucose. Now, as I mentioned before, 
think I mentioned before. We've got what happens with um, carbohydrates. When we consume carbohydrates, they get broken down into glucose and then uptake into the bloodstream. And then they are stored as lipid in the fat cells for potential energy to use later. Okay. So that we've got enzymes that break down those carbohydrates into glucose to be absorbed. Now, what happens with the mulberry leaf, because it is the same structure as glucose, it binds to the enzymes that break down the carbohydrates. Okay. So we've got the carbohydrates are coming in. We've got these enzymes that break it down to glucose. The mulberry leaf binds to those enzymes instead of the carbohydrates. So then the carbohydrate doesn't get broken down into glucose and absorbed as lipid. It stays as carbohydrate and travels through the body and is excreted. So the mulberry leaf component inside the metabolic assist prevents from presents prevents all of the carbohydrates from being absorbed. So only some of them are broken down into glucose and stored as lipid in the fat cell instead of all of that glucose, all of that carbohydrate being broken down into glucose and stored as lipid in the fat cell, which the lipid is why the fat cells grow. Does that make sense? I hope I explained that okay. So, awesome. Cool, cool. Thumbs up. So, what we're able to do when we don't have these blood sugar spikes, because we're only breaking down amounts that we need to use, we're able to maintain energy without that blood sugar drop. So we can maintain that steady level. We're not getting these big spikes and then come with that, the big drops. So without those big drops, we're not craving sugar and carbohydrates to then store as energy. Does that make sense? Okay. So, sorry, kids. <laughs> That's okay. If you need to jump, it's being recorded. So you can jump if you need to go. Um, all right. So that's the metabolic, that's the metapower assist. Yep. So that's the metapower assist. So to consume that, um, it's a combination of ingredients that assist to support healthy blood glucose levels and reduce carbohydrate metabolism. Dietary supplement is part of the metapower metabolic system and creates a, supports a healthy lifestyle. So you would take this with any meal or you can take it before a meal ideally, but I take it with my meal. It's totally fine. Um, that you're eating carbohydrates at. So at your biggest meal that you're consuming carbohydrates, you can take this um, to prevent those blood glucose spikes. Okay, so um, this I take, even I take, if I'm having carbohydrates at lunch and dinner, then I'll take it with both meals, okay? Um, this is going to help support healthy blood sugar, glucose levels, reduce carbohydrate metabolism that and traditionally used in Western herbal medicine. So specifically the mulberry leaf to increase, reduce, relieve flatulence and um, carbonation. So a nice, healthy gut system. Awesome. Okay. And then the last one, we have got the MetaPower Advantage. Okay. I, I'm not allowed to say this, but I kind of saved the best to last. I am loving the MetaPower Advantage. And I think because you feel the difference of this one, whereas you have to know the difference for this one, if that makes sense. Um, okay. So this is an amazing product. Now, this, the MetaPower Advantage a little overview of what it actually does to the body and body systems. We're looking at enhancing collagen formation. And I'm going to talk about how in a moment, enhancing collagen formation supports healthy skin, added benefits of antioxidants, which are going to reduce free radicals formed in the body. So again, they're ones that jump in, um, bind to cells, break cells down. Um, and then we get half, half damaged cells that are floating around the body. So this will bind to those and make them a stabilized um, cell which is phenomenal. Um, we've got, it contains nine types of collagen tripeptides from marine sources, which supports healthy skin elasticity um, in females, um, all 
Okay, so, and males. No other collagen on the market contains all nine and most do not contain them as a tripeptide. So tripeptide means that it's been broken down into a smaller size, which actually can be absorbed into the body as a collagen. Now, this makes it 12 times more absorbable than any other collagen on the market, any other collagen on the market. So when we talk health span and lifespan, we biologically start aging from the age of 25, okay? And this is when NAD, which is um, a production in the body, a molecule in the body. So when NAD starts de decreasing quite dramatically at the age of 25, okay? So that's why we always think, oh, at 25, like we had all this energy and all of these things. So it stops being produced in the body, all right? But we use NAD for a number of functions, including cell stabilization from oxidation, which is cell damage. Okay, so um, we need to, uh, so NAD also helps support in um, a lot of the metabolic functions and DNA integrity. So looking after the quality of our DNA. Okay, um, now it is also found in MetaPower. So this is a massively amazing component of the MetaPower, which is the NAD. Um, so with, um, again, because we love science, um, there was a rise so in um, the study that they connect, conducted with the MetaPower. This was... Um, there was a rise in 37% of NAD when taking MetaPower Advantage. This is massive for metabolic health and anti-aging or reducing, reversing, slowing the biological aging processes that happen in the body, okay, because NAD is used for most of those. Um, so there's a lot of preclinical research that has shown the increased amounts of NAD and NADH in the body. Um, contributes to metabolic and biological health. Um, super cool. So you can jump on PubMed and things like that if you want to jump in and look at the research of NAD specifically. All right. So it, um, the NAD specifically works on the section of metabolism functions called Krem cycle. So back onto that big map of metabolic functions, there's a component in there, which is Krem cycle, and it helps us to make ATP, which is energy in the body. So as NAD drops from the age of 25, we start to have less energy, um, unless we have the advantage. Okay. So that's one component of that. Then it is also helping to increase um, hydration, connective tissue production, the collagen, which I'm going to dive into the collagen in a moment, um, and supports collagen health, helps convert the state of food into energy and supports energy production. So that's that ATP system that starts to slow because it doesn't have the NAD to support it as we age, which is where we start to see all those metabolic functions um, head down or become really um, sluggish, slow and not so optimized. Um, it's going to maintain, support healthy hair, nail um, health strength, strength um, bone health, immune system health, and its function of the immune system, um, support absorption and healthy levels of dietary. So the state of vitamin, mineral, and nutrient, it's going to enhance the absorption of those nutrients. And specifically when used as the system, so especially that Medicare assist, um, and also to assist and help the metabolism of vitamin, mineral, and nutrients. So here it's made up of 12 main components, uh, oh, sorry, 12 my main ingredients or 12 synergistic ingredients. So alone, you might have actually heard some of these ingredients being thrown around in different supplements and things like that that you've used before. But the specific formulation and levels of each of these ingredients and how they work with each other. So remember earlier I talked about like spinach has these vitamins and minerals, but because it also contains certain enzymes that inhibit the absorption, this 
these ingredients, these 12 synergistic ingredients are specifically in there to enhance the breakdown of different um, components in the body system and to support that and to support the absorption of the nutrients that we can find within it. So not only does it contain those, but it helps us absorb those nutrients, but also to absorb the nutrients in our food by binding to different um, receptors and enzymes in the body. So cool. I'm all for the whole body. Um, so these contain, these 12 ingredients are marine collagen, which is sourced from um, Italy, freshwater in Italy, um, red orange fruit extract, yeast longevity complex, which is the part containing the NAD or NMN, um, pomegranate, hyaluronic acid. So pomegranate is really great for um, skin health and reducing oxidation and oxidative stress in the body. So that is in our, one of my favorite oils, the yarrow palm, um, which we use um, on the skin. It ha also has the um, pomegranate seed oil. So we've got pomegranate hyaluronic acid, which is one you might've heard if you've been looking at um, skin and longevity. Um, Reverestrol, which is um, a really key component for um, metabolic health and skin health and body system support. Um, that's a really key ingredient in there as well. Sea buckthorn fruit extract, rose apple fruit extract, phytoceramides, vitamin C and biotin. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to dive into all of those um, because they're like a whole other um, webinar all on its own. I'm almost there, almost there, guys. So we're going to touch on the collagen type inside that, though, because collagen does have such a big buzz around it at the moment. And I want to talk a little bit about that because it's not just another collagen um, product. It's amazing that it is um, does have the collagen in it. But, of course, we just listen to how it actually works on a whole biological um, ageing system. Um, so the collagen, basically everything in the media that tells us about collagen is pretty much wrong apart from that we need it and it's good for us okay so most products have two most products on the market have two or three types of collagen and typically are large molecules that we can't absorb so they're collagen that's just been dropped in there collagen components that have just been dropped into that liquid or whatever it is um powder form so of a typical 50 gram um collagen supplement <laughs> exactly not at all media are always telling the truth um typically they have large molecules so in a regular 50 gram um collagen product or collagen supplement um on the shelf you would be lucky to actually absorb two grams of collagen from that now also when we're looking at this um they are collagen breaks down very quickly um, in its form. So when you have a liquid collagen that um, you might buy off the shelf, this, because it, the components of the collagen or the um, parts that we need to absorb, because it breaks down very quickly, it doesn't have a long shelf life, then stabilizers need to be added to that liquid collagen to hold the collagen in its form. Okay. Now, because of that, we're consuming stabilizers that have been added to that collagen supplement. Okay. Um, now, the meta power has actually been hydrolyzed. So it's broken down into the tripeptides that I mentioned before. So this makes it 12 times more absorbable because of its size. And in a 30 gram supplement on the market, and is in a 30 gram supplement. So 36, sorry, gram supplement. Now this isn't available on the market whatsoever. There is no collagen supplements that you would be able to get 36 grams of collagen from a single supplement until now because we have MetaPower Advantage. Um, now most on the market contain 15 to 25% of a tripeptide content. So some that have been broken down into the hydrolyzed powders um, contain 15 to 25% tripeptide content. MetaPower has 70% of the tripeptide component content. So this is 
why we're seeing overwhelming. So this was released in the States um, last year. And the only reason I didn't continue consuming it was because the exchange rate was through the roof and it was costing me $500 a month for the system. Um, and there was no way that that was affordable long time, long term at the time. Um, so, in, so we're seeing increased skin elasticity, density, firmness, helping support lean muscle and connective tissue. So connective tissue is um, always going to be, and especially with the collagens, is always going to be um, something that I'm going to, my ears are going to perk up to because that is what we train for at Evo Prime and why we train differently um, to all other gyms is because we want to build that collagen formation um, and we want to strengthen that collagen because that will break down over time. Okay, so it is activated when consuming the advantage. It is activated by you. So because it's in that hydrolyzed state, when you mix it in cold water, not hot, so it needs to be cold or warm water, um, the collagen is then activated. So you need to shake it up and drink it straight away. It also tastes delicious. Um, so you would mix it in um, like a cup of water and drink it straight away because the collagen will break down over time once it's activated. Okay. Um, so I already spoke about the um, liquid collagens. Um, now, the different peptides within the collagen have different benefits. Okay. So here, I'm not sure how well you can see this. It's quite small. Um, but you've got like collagen type one related to skin and beauty. Collagen type two is related to bone production, the main component of cartilage. Um, we've got type four, which is for um, the dermis and epidermis, so skin, the malleable, so the absorption um, through the skin. We're looking at type five, which is stabilizing the structures of type one and two collagen. So it's stabilizing and strengthening those. We're looking at um, type six, which is muscle function, cell membranes, and inhibiting cell um, adaptosis and oxidative stress, so the breakdown of cells. Um, we've got type nine, which is cartilage growth plates, joints, and intervertebral discs. Intervertebral discs. Now, this is for amazing for the aging process. So, for the older generation, as we get those. Um, osteoporosis and things like that start to happen in bone degeneration. So for women particularly, our bone density starts to decrease from the age of 30. And that's why we see like um, osteoarthritis and osteoporosis and things like that quite prevalent in women as we age and through menopause. Due to, during menopause, the collagen, the quality of our collagen is depleted massively because of the hormonal changes that are happening in the body. So if we're consuming this leading um, perimenopause, uh, menopause, um, postmenopause, then this is going to be so powerful for supporting um, the whole body systems and those changes. Um, supporting normal brain aging, um, which is massive for, uh, well, for me, <laughs> um, the cognitive function and things like that. So this is the only um, actual supplement on the market that contains all nine of those peptides. So we can see why that's important because we get so many different benefits from each of them. Now, it also is going to aid in the synthesis of neurotransmitters. So when we look at that um, supporting normal brain aging process we're looking at neurotransmitters so this is cognitive function um and the senses the, so the strengthening um of those synapses um supports connective tissue and healthy skin yes okay i did go over but i did start a little bit late as well so um oh that's okay all right thanks liz that's okay you got right to the end <laughs> awesome thank you i'll talk to you soon Okay, so we have got here then three ways that we can look at incorporating this. Now, the MetaPower system is all three of those components that are supporting metabolic health. So even if you are not looking at investing in these or elevating it to this level, there are so many lifestyle factors that you can take away from what we've talked about and understanding why metabolic health is something that you want to start paying attention to when you're seeing these things pop up. Um, so we have got the MetaPower best 
combined with the Lifelong Vitality Supplements. So these are your vitamins, minerals, and nutrient supplement. And then this is the body system support of that. And of course, it does have some, um, it does have the um, nutrients in it that we want to consume, like the collagen and things like that. Um, but it's actively going to support how our body, body systems work. So we can purchase this one through, so if you're looking at investing in those ones, we can purchase these through as a starter kit in July. So if you are new to doTERRA, starting with that kit straight up is going to give you free access to wholesale rates which means you can log in and order whenever you like. You don't have to lock into anything ongoing. That's completely optional, but you are going to want these monthly because they're going to be amazing. Um, but that is completely optional. So you can um, look at getting those as a starter kit. All extra fees would us uh, that usually might come with that are waived. So this will be just the price of the kit um, in July. So it has been launched now. Today, you can log in and buy it. So if you are already a doTERRA, um, already have a doTERRA account, you can log in and order this. You can log in and order with the loyalty rewards program, which is where you're going to get points back. And it will duplicate that order for next month. But you have full control over that before the, before the process day. So if you order that now, you can, it will duplicate it for next month. And you can, this is a 30 days plus, you might want to reorder it then. Or you can just change the date to later in the month of August. So you might not, you might postpone it till sort of the middle um, of August so that you can see if you're going to reorder it or not. And you can cancel that at any time. So if you decide, no, I don't love it, I'm going to cancel it. This does have a 30 day money back guarantee because they know how much you're going to love it. Um, so you can do that. Now, if you order before the 15th and you order this kit on loyalty rewards, you also get the free product of the month, which is a lavender roller bottle. Um, I love this. So lavender is a natural antihistamine. It's amazing for anything, um, rashes or skin or calming, um, all of those kinds of things. Um, and so, yeah, it has launched now. So if you specifically want support in how to order that or in ordering that, please reach out to me um, because I will um, help set that all up for you. And that also means that you're in our team or that you get dropped in with me and my group and my network. Um, and we have amazing other resources that will help you on your health and wellness journey. So not just in the metabolic health, but we've got all the things for supporting a low tox journey, low tox lifestyle. Um, we'll actually get together when you receive them as well. And we'll go through how best to use them for you. So when best to incorporate these into morning or afternoon, what your lifestyle looks like, and we can play around with that. So I'm here to support you ongoing. Now, um, you can, oh, price. Okay, so I'm excited about the price point of this because it is actually quite achievable. And if you love them and you're talking to friends about them as well and your friends want to get hold of them, we will actually link them into our group and that will help to pay for your orders as well. Okay. So it does work that way um, because you wouldn't, if these were sitting on the shelf in a pharmacy, you wouldn't get the education that I've just given you around metabolic health. So that is why you want to purchase and invest with someone that's going to be able to support you long-term. Um, so if you've got any friends that want to do that, that is a really great way for getting your supplements paid for monthly and bringing the price down. So for the uh, for the Meta Power system on its own for the three of those, that is $168 wholesale price. So for those for you wouldn't pay retail anyway. Um, there is this does come, I'm trying to say this does also come as an option to do it as a combo with the lifelong vitality supplement. So if you were to buy them individually, um, you would be looking at a lot more, but these um, together is going to be $230 um, as both the LLV and the MetaPower system. So $230. If you were to buy them separately, you're looking at $390. So no, $290, yeah, if you were to buy them separately. If you were to buy supplements that equivalent 
that are the equivalent of this breakdown. So this much magnesium, vitamin D, vitamin C, um, fish oils, um, food nutrient complex, collagens, all of that, you'd be looking at well over $500 worth to buy all the individual um, kind of ingredients and off the shelf supplements. Okay. That's the last page. Yes. Okay. So there are a few ways that you can get your hands on this. So I will send you out a copy of this um, replay for you to look and to use. And please, if at all you or you have someone that you know would love to get hold of this kit or to help um, elevate their health and wellness, please reach out to me um, or connect us. And I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Thanks,